Hey guys, Dara Connolly here. Wanted to give you your quick tip of the week. This is an acronym called BOLD, B-O-L-D, to help you exude more confidence. Because every day I meet women that ask me, how do you show more confidence to get people attracted to you? And which also helps you make money. So let's start with B. B is your breathing. When you are able to take deep breaths, you know that you have a tall spine and are having a great open posture. And posture is important when it comes to confidence. As well as how you dress. That's why I have on my furry today. I want you to think about your outside appearance. So B is breathing as well as posture in your dress. In fact, when you dress for success and you smell good, you feel good. It's important to put all that together, your outer appearance. We're going to start from the outer and go in. So B for breathing as well as your posture and your outer appearance gives you that competitive advantage. People are attracted to you. It gives you that magnetism. The O is, oh, we have an alarm. The O is the outside influence that you surround yourself with. Make sure you eliminate toxic people from your life, and I can help you with that if you need help setting boundaries. And you only wanna surround yourself with people who encourage and support you and compliment you, including you. Make sure you're only talking positively about yourself. It's so true, we're each other's hardest critic. And when we bash ourselves or are hard on ourselves, if something didn't work out or achievements didn't go well, you're stripping away your own self-confidence. Don't do that. L is to laugh a little bit more because this goes in line with going easier on yourself. I want you to be able to laugh at whatever mistakes you make or if something didn't work out the way you thought. Look, I've bombed tons of things in my life. You just gotta learn to laugh at yourself a little bit and think, who cares? Course correction, how can I keep going? What did I learn? Remember, successful people fail on average of seven times. So laugh a little bit more. And the D is really important. It is do what you're good at. Know your inner strengths. Know what activities and interests come easily to you. Know your competencies and do those as much as you can because when you do what you feel good at, you will increase your confidence. So again, just a quick recap. Breathing, which helps your posture. Don't forget your breath uh, and the way you dress. O is your outside influences, surrounding yourself with positive people, including yourself. Talk nicely to yourself. L is how can you laugh a little bit more about yourself, even if things don't go your way. Don't be so hard on yourself. And D is to do what you're good at, know your competencies. And this may mean practicing a little bit more and preparing yourself a little bit more. And in fact, I'll throw in an extra tip here. And this is to be generous. Confident people think nothing of giving of their time and their information and they're just generous, good-hearted people. And so if you don't feel confident, try having an attitude of gratitude and service and see if that helps change you from the outside to the inside. And I am sure you will feel yourself, you'll feel good about yourself, which will help attract people towards you. If you want a little bit more inspiration on how to live as a confident woman, then reach out to me. We have a wonderful weekly mastermind that you can jump in and try out for a two week free trial, as well as a really special event happening in January. You can ask me more about it. I'm happy to jump on a call with you about it. Remember, you can do this. You are amazing.